All right, so real quick, uh, I accidentally didn't record the game audio for a good few sessions here. So for like the next 15 to 20 episodes, there would have been no game audio if I didn't decide to at least put in the music retroactively. The sound effects are all still missing, and the voice acting is also restored. I also fixed that, but uh, any so any sound effects are not going to be present at all, unfortunately. But going through every single little bit to add in every single sound effect is going to take way too long. And I don't have that kind of time. Thankfully, the game has an option where we can re-record the uh, cutscenes we've already seen, so that was really easy to get those. And to get the game audio, I just need to go to those areas and have my capture card capture the audio to Audacity and then put it in that way. So that was fairly simple to do. Also, it's going to make these episodes take longer to come out, potentially. But I, I had a lot recorded in advance. So hopefully it won't be that bad. If I have to though, Pokemon will start taking the place of Octopath Traveler 2 upload wise so I can get more of these done and edited together properly. Alright, a little, little bit of disclaimer out of the way, on to the show. Hello everyone, welcome back to more Octopath Traveler 2. Last time we finished, uh, what's her face? Agnes Chapter 1 in Cropdale. And before we head on to our next chapter... Oh! Oh, that's really cool. Okay, so that's what the dance session does. Basically, it sums them out and they do an additional effect on top of- Oh my god, dancer's even better than it's ever been. Oh, you're just gonna defend though, because I want him to use his arrow fortune to get as much damage as he possible. Ten draw points, heck yeah. Look at that. <laughs> we got almost twice as many job points as the experience. Very worthwhile. That's really cool, though. I, I'm really glad that's a thing. Anyway, though, like I said, I was saying originally, we're going to try to head back to that shrine and bring Cassidy there and see what happens. Right, for that random fight, we got enough job points to give Agnia something. Uh, I mean, it's good for breaking. Oh, because sweeping Gable hits one person? That's weird. I thought I hit multiple. Oh, that's also really good, too, though. Ooh. But it hits all foes, though. Yeah, do that. We got show goes on. Awesome. So what else we got here? Ever evasive. It was equipping character to be more easily... Okay, I buffed the evasion in. Oh, my God. You have hard worker? Invigorate and inspire. So he feels oh, that's also really good, too. Okay, well, Cass no, Cassie, Agnia is never leaving the party. <laughs> never leaving the party. Oh my god, that's amazing. All the good jobs that. Oops, oh, whatever. All these good jobs are the early ones so far. Like, the first four jobs are all really good I've gotten. It's amazing. Oh, that's the wrong one. Uh... Yeah, okay, I think I remember now we have to go with the ghost self and then... <laughs> I got the 10,000. Oh, wait, what? Did it not actually count? So I got that 10,000 leaves thing again, but it doesn't look like my money went up at all. Huh. Also, it does remind me, though, um, the item we picked up from uh, Agnia, the, the power, so whatever, we can actually sell that for like a crap ton of money, and I did that, so. Yeah. <laughs> We sold away her hard-earned money. Oh, well. Every time I fight anything over here, it's always so scary. But we finally made it back. All right, what are you going to give Cassie? I really want to know. What are you going to give Cassie? Chosen dance onto the I grant new power. Are you gonna learn the EX skill Windy Refrain? Alright, what does that do though? 
Do you want me to damage all foes and cause your allies to act first on the next turn? That's pretty good. How do I use these, though? <laughs> That's why I'm, I'm very curious about how do I actually use those. Alright, well, now we did that. Let's actually just warp out of here so I don't have to fight anything else. Because we should definitely have enough money now to go across the sea. So we're going to do that. As much as I would like to try and explore the rest. Oh, wow. I actually go down here. We have to truck through this and go all the Wow. That's not worthwhile. Or we can go here, too, and go this way, actually. Which would be probably more... A lot safer. But yeah, we're going to go back to Calbrine and go across the sea, finally. Before we do that, though, I want to see if I can f solve this one guy's quest here. I think I know what to do. Now that I have a dancer. Alright. Uh, yes. Stop that. Leave me alone. Oh, I actually failed the path action. Oh, okay. Uh, might as well. Can I buy anything from him? Well, might as well. That's cheap. Ah. Uh, either I do this or I have to hire the lady. There we are. Good. good. Now I've done that. Change to nighttime. Then talk to her. Well, before I do that, though, I won't look at. Uh, oh, give me a little six. Oh, I'm a little six. I got that. Easy. I forgot she gives us free stuff at night, too. Yeah, yeah, here he is. Yeah, I did it. I solved it. You had a last. Where in the world have you been, little brother? I can ask you the same question, big brother. I thought something terrible had happened to you. And you think I don't? You think I didn't worry too? I stayed here all day in case you turned up. Well, I stayed here waiting all night. Wait a second. You mean we were waiting at different times of day and kept missing each other? If you hadn't noticed, we might have never found each other. Thank you, friend. Alright. Anything good? Ooh, a magic nut. An empowering leech, which I think, uh... Or leech. Which I'm pretty sure just, uh... Yeah, I'm getting all your stuff. God. Oh, it fills lightning power. There we go. I know I couldn't think for... Well, it was for a second there. Alright. Yeah, oh my god. I can just take everything I want for free. No risk whatsoever as long as I'm high enough level. Oh. Ooh, 25 of those, okay. 3% of purchases. Can't afford your stuff either. Oh god, 51 for the dragon vase. 10 to 30% off when using hard help. Okay. Ooh, if I hit an item over here, I missed. Let's get that. Uh, I still have like 19,000 here, so I. Boat was at 1,000, right? Yeah, Totonaha Beasting Bay. Uh. Yeah, 1,000. Okay, hold on. Before I do that, I want to stop by. Well, if I just explore town and see what else I can get for free, I'll get one sailor's vest. Put that on you. And we'll get a headgear. Give that to you. Otherwise, we're not going to bother with anything else. And more free stuff, please. Okay, she is level 10. I can't remember what level she is yet. We didn't reach level 10, though, which is good. Well, wow, Trevor's with level 20? Jesus. That is kind of high. So I already have that. Are you the innkeeper? Okay, that's why I can't do your stuff. 
more free things. I'm sure she won't be missing them anytime soon. No, I can't. Yeah. And you? Uh, Poppy. Earn more from sales. Okay. Uh, there we go. You should be good now. To move on. Well, there's more people here, though, so. <laughs> Eventually, it'll be good to move on. I just want to get some. If I can get a bunch of free stuff, we're definitely doing getting the free stuff. Because why wouldn't I? No, it's not that. There we go. <laughs> Oh, also, we don't have anyone any left anyone left now for a uh, lure. Uh, small amount of HP to target. I'd rather have this an easy one I can get that's worthwhile. Uh, SP I haven't acquired you apparently. There we go. Uh, fifty-five. Can't take the children with us. Ninety six. Okay. Ooh, almost the fence. Awesome. Easy grab. All right. Let's move on then. Also ninety six. On well, curious effect, ooh. Oh, God, it's frisky. a bewildering grace every time. Yeah, I got to. I got to. I'm going to regret this so much, but I have to. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Finally going across the sea. And we did not end up where I thought we were. We ended up down here. So I guess we can get the hunter next. And on the way, we can stop by here, I guess, to get his set of commerce. As long as it's not too high level there. And then we get up here, I guess, hopefully, somehow. You do anything good? Uh, da -da. That's speed of target. Choir. And get that free stuff. Yeah, basically every time I get a chance to, I'm be switching into night so I can get some free things if possible. All right. Uh. No. No. <laughs> there we go. Same as Octo One then. So it means ice as well probably. Yep. Cool. Actually helps a lot then. If you remember what the weaknesses are from the first Octopath Traveler, you can kind of just repeat those. And then you'll be fine. Just heal him back up. You kind of got hurt a decent amount. You're just going to skip your turn and we're going to finish him off with the Arrow of Fortune. Wait, what? You live? What level is this area? I'm just gonna do another one of those. And, uh. Just to make absolute short. Alright. Bewildering Ballad. Oh! Hello! <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> oh, I got a trophy for getting for max damage! Even though it wasn't even me, it was a freaking. That uh, battery nova killed. <laughs> Promise, my God. Well, it's definitely not a two-tier area because we didn't get a lot of experience out of that, so I don't have to worry about being overly leveled by accident. 
Oh, what the heck is that jellyfish thing? Oh, that's so weird looking. This evil jellyfish. Uh, let's check for daggers. Okay, that thing took the daggers. Oh, boy. And light. Oh, <laughs> well, the jellyfish is dead. Do you want to die, please? Heck yeah. Oh, that's going to be so much fun now. I can use Bewildering Grace every single time. I use a dance move. Which is like all of her moves. It's incredible. Oh my god. Oh, this is going to be absolutely ridiculous. Uh, I think I'm going to go south for her. Oh, that's not another new one down there. God, what the? What even is that thing? I don't. That's a frog. Oh, okay. I can see the frog. Oh, that's so weird. He's pulling the arrow with his tongue. I don't like that. I, I don't like that. It's disturbing to think about. Don't do that, please. All right, go ahead and just do a rune. Actually, do windy. Oh, it hits only one person. Oh, it hits everyone. Okay, never mind. What oh, was your ex move? So I just have it now, and it's just strong. And now we all go first. So I can just use that whenever? What? That's so busted. This game is not balanced at all, is it? I feel like this game isn't balanced in the slightest. There is no game balance here. Good. good. Uh, let's go for Sweeping Cleave. Alright, the frog takes the axe. Oh, freaking uh, terror. Not dread, terror. Well, I might as well kill you. Uh, check your daggers? Yes. Go ahead and... Uh, I'm gonna get a lot out of him. Just fucking chop him to pieces. I was thinking of trying to get another JP arrow. Whatever they're actually called. Arrow of Fortune, there we are. I highly doubt he'd have a lot of job points anyway, so. I don't believe it. Hikari's actually hit 500. Oh, wait, he's 1,000. Never mind. You're the only one who needs 500. <laughs> kind of forgot. Whatever. Oh, who am I going to leave out of the... Actually, I don't have to do that. I forgot. She does her own chapter one by herself. I don't have to kick anyone out of the party for her. So far, every time that little merchant guy has shown up, it's only been a positive effect for the most part. I got the fireball one then. That hurt our party a little bit. Also did a lot more damage to the enemies though, so. Oh, did that hits everyone? A uh, single foe. You know, just, just do this. Don't have to worry about anyone else getting hurt. Uh, check this one. The arrow with the dagger is awesome. Or HP, okay, I could use some SP, but it's whatever. I don't lower my attack. You stupid freaking thing. Oh, I didn't even kill it. Just my freaking attack lower. Uh, might as well check for axe. Nope. Okay. Also, oh, didn't even attack a car. He's the one who freaking decided. Eh. Yeah, to ice. All right. Awesome. Uh. Why not? Try some fire. <laughs> like, no damage. Oh, I don't have enough for an arrow of fortune. Ugh. Let's kill him real quick. You're gonna go ahead and rest. Again, Hikari has the freaking intimidates.
Thank God. Two job points. No, I don't care anymore. Just smack this thing to death. Just, just kill it already. I'm done with this. <laughs> Also, another thing I'm noticing, too, it seems like the weakness order is still the same as it was in Octa 1. Which will also help immensely in figuring out what enemies are weak to, and what I should be using. Alright, we should be almost there, I feel right. It's like, try... Oh, wait, hold on. I just remembered I had the friggin' double speed thing, so I can make these fights go by faster. I think War Axe is worse than what we already have for her. Right? Yeah. Go Iron Axe. Do you know the highest attack actually with that? Hold on. Uh, no, 240. <laughs> Not by a lot. Oh my god. He has such a higher attack. Ooh, 174 is pretty good too. So he's our second end. It's good to keep in mind. We're getting so much crap from these fights. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I thought it was bad in Octa 1. Yeah, Dancer and Merch are together, working together. It's been ridiculous. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous getting all these job points. <laughs> well, we finally made it to town. Took a while, but we did it. Some more free stuff if I can. Name was Sword, alright. And also... Oh, he's gone. Uh, hit an item? Good. Oh, God. This is not going to be worth Fine, let's go around then. And get free things until I run into the hunter girl. Who I can now see on the map, actually. So I'm going in the opposite direction for her. Is that a ladder behind you? We don't have another way of getting there. Okay. I think it is. So all I'm going to do then is this. Got four in hand, right? Yes, okay, cool. <laughs> oh, a giant bow. I'll gladly take that. You have, you don't inquire as well. Okay. I wonder how to get closer to them. I want to know more about the beast lanes and be be their friend, but how? Probably the guy to beast lane to him, I've had a guess. Okay, ooh, new equipment for sale. That's worthwhile, thank you. Oh, he's gone now. Jerky. Wait, what, what the heck is jerky? Oh, HB and SP. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's a new item entirely for Octopath, too. I'm so close to that earring, but I will. Not quite there, unfortunately. Okay. I've got to keep doing that. Whatever. Hit I over here. Grab this, please. Alright. Oh, we definitely gone off long enough for an episode, so... I'll start next episode once we actually talk to the... The girl, as it were. 1800. Smart free stuff. Heck yeah. So far, I'm really glad I started with Hikari. I've gotten really good party members early on. Like, these four seem absolutely broken already. With Cassie being the least broken out of all of them. Uh, better dagger. You have... Ooh, 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 my god, 406? 
Oh my god, I want that. It's 55,000, but oh my god, that's just so high. That's so high. So we, we gotta get that Frontier Axe somehow. <laughs> is what I'm learning here. And now they're gone. Ugh. Are you the same guy from before? Oh, what did you have in purchase? You are. Okay. Cool. So they move around sometimes. You gotta pay attention to that. I not inquired you yet. Go. Okay. Ba do There. There she is. Nothing again. Still here, good. Oh, I probably need that for the kid, actually. So let me go talk to that kid real quick, and then I'll just end the episode. No? Okay, well, whatever. Next time we start, uh... Ochet, I think is her name. We'll start her chapter one. And talk to her and stuff, and explore the rest of town, because that's probably gone for long enough. Wow, so much more here. Oh my god, this is a big place. This is a big place. This is also a really nice cliff. Hope you had a wonderful time, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.